back with another one. I wanna show you guys something as usual as I pretty much react to this video. But if you like what you see on this channel and you like the things that I talk about, go ahead and subscribe and make sure you press like on the video. Right now I'm about to break something down. What I see often is how a lot of people, they will sit up and do things and create issues for themselves. And the reason that they do this is because they're not thinking or they're thinking off emotion. They're allowing how they feel to dictate what they do, which leads them to being in a lot more trouble than they would have been in the first place. Let's take a look at this video and I'm gonna walk you through some things. Hey man, how you doing? So right now, what you see is the officer's walking up to the car because she's currently sleep inside of the car on private property. I'm gonna show you how to handle shit because a lot of people, they get so twisted. They get so tied up in their emotions and how they feel. They start doing things that lead them in the wrong direction. Let's take a look. Okay. Because you can't be uh, parked here and sleeping, okay? All right. So she's homeless and she's parked there in her car. Officers letting her know she can't be there. Because we got a call about this vehicle being parked here. So she's talking about the car that you see up to the right of the screen. She's saying, why don't you go and ask him for his license or why don't you ask him for his information? He's parked there too. This is the problem that people have. Stop being concerned about what's going on with someone else. Take care of what's happening with you. Take care of the problem that's occurring with you. Now it might, she might be right, but it doesn't matter. He's talking to you right now. He's interacting with you right now. The officer is engaging you right now. So when an officer is engaging me, I'm going to deal with that officer based on the circumstances that's in front of me. Let's check it out. All right, man. Just it. People do this shit all the time. And I'm simply trying to show you what you can learn, what you can take out of the situations of other people. That's how you be wise. That's how you be intelligent. You look at the shit that's taking place with other people. You look at the unfortunate things that are taking place with other people and you learn from it. You learn from it. I'm not gonna ask for you again. Why don't you ask him? I don't, I don't understand well, that. I'm here, I'm here for you, okay? Now, let me tell you what I would have done, me personally. And I can talk like this because I've been in situations like this. I'm not just talking just to be talking. I'm talking because I have experience. I'm talking from experience. When a police approaches me, I'm in a vehicle, whatever it is I'm doing, depending on what I'm doing. But if I'm in her situation and I'm on property that I didn't know that I should not have been on. Okay, fine, go ahead, take my license, run me. You're gonna find out I'm good, I'm clear, and I'm gonna get the hell up out of here because I want my encounter with this officer to be as fast and quick as possible. If anything that I need to argue, I'll do it in court, or I'm going to set up the circumstances on the scene for me to be able to argue it in court. It's about what you do on scene, what you do at that specific time to set you up better for later. Nice. Yes, we got a call about your car, okay? You're sleeping in your car. You're sleeping in a private. Asleep. I'm sitting here wondering why this guy is right here. Okay, you're sleeping. So you're sitting there wondering why someone else is right there. Do you see the irrational speaking? This is why whenever you have a situation, you need to mentally respond. You need to think about what's going on. You need to think about what you say before you say it and what you do before you do it. So she said, you, let, uh, you know what, I'm gonna take it back. Enough, Let's take that back. I'm yes. sitting here wondering why this guy is right here. So you are parking your car there, sitting there wondering why the other car is parked probably about 20, 30 feet ahead of you. What sense does that make? None. But I'm telling you, people, they don't understand that the things that they do, you're your own worst enemy. You are a victim of your own bad decision making. Let's go, because I'm really talking. Hey, you're sleeping in a private establishment. You cannot be here. 
Okay. You cannot be here. Why are you part here? I don't even know you. How can I be lying about you? I don't know. Okay. You fumb she's fumbling around in that damn cell phone. I'm just gonna add your name leave. and you I don't okay. I can do anything. I'm part. I'm, I'm giving you I don't want any problems, okay? I'm asking If you just wanna leave you have to understand how the law works. This is why I talk about learn as much as you can. Learn and be informed in many areas as you can, especially when it comes to things like law, civil rights, constitutional things. Learn these things because you have to be out here and one day you're gonna encounter an officer and you need to know what your rights are and you need to know what your rights aren't. You, legally, okay, for your ID and that's it. To add you to the call and you'll be on your way. That's it. Emotionally reacting. That's what she's doing. She's gonna start up the car and she's gonna pull our ass off. This is about to lead her in more trouble. You see, she's talking about how she has it rough, how she's homeless, how she has to sleep in the car. So let me tell you something. Let me give you some, some information. I'm gonna talk to you guys as if I'm talking to her. If you know that your situation is bad, if you know that you're under bad circumstances, let's not do anything that could potentially make it worse. Let's not do anything that can lead to our situation being worse than what it already is. Decision making is everything. I understand what's going on. It could have been that person. It could have been them. I just pulled up right here, as a matter of fact. Okay. So See, a lot of people, they be upset because the police got your ass. They got you. You go to pointing and talking about, why don't you get them? Why don't you get them? It's like, let's say, if you got cars on the expressway and you get stopped for speeding, you sitting here talking about, how come you didn't get them? Like, fuck all of that, he got you, he got you. If I'm pulled over, I'm not gonna sit. I already know what this is. I'm not gonna sit, well, why didn't you get them? Why? Did... Give me my ticket so I can get up out of here. I want my encounter with you to be as fast and quick as possible. You're talking about. So, I'm gonna need your ID. You don't need my ID, you need Ask for the ID, she thinks that she could just pull the hell off. You, let's, let's continue on. Now he catches her down the street at a gas station and pulls her over. All right, we're done playing. Step out of the car. Please leave me alone. Step out of the car. If you wanted them to leave you alone, honey, what you would have done, but see, this also has to do with a lack of information. This has to do with a level of ignorance. And this is why, again, I talk about be informed in as many areas as you can be. Stop spending a lot of your time on social media, on TikTok, scrolling up and down Instagram. Go put on something and learn something. This is the age of information. Go put on something that's going to teach you something, that's going to inform you of something. I'm not gonna ask you again. Just leave me alone. I'm not gonna leave ask you alone. Again. And you know, sometimes I feel bad for these people because they are victims of their own stupidity and ignorance. That's what this is. That's all this is. She's just a victim of her own ignorance. She's just a victim of her own stupidity. She's just a victim of her own foolishness. She's just unlearned, that's all. And it takes for somebody to really game her the fuck up, to really put her under their wing and teach her and guide her. That's what her father was for, or should have been for. I'm not even gonna get into that. Let's continue though. Here, ID. I'm telling you to stop, and you just took off, okay? I didn't take off, I just around the corner. Okay. You that's exactly what you did. Do you see the illogic? I didn't take off, I just pulled around the corner. It's one of the same. You took off. The reason that I show y'all guys videos like this, you can learn from this. There's probably somebody watching this video right now that would have done the same shit until they see what I'm saying here. You want the encounter. I keep saying this. I'm consistent within my message. What you want 
is for the encounter between you and this officer to be as fast as possible. That's why when the police pull me over, I already have my license and my insurance hanging out the damn window ready for them as soon as they walk up. I know this is what you're gonna ask for. So why in the hell do I need to wait for you to walk up to the car window and say, can I see your license and your insurance? I don't need to wait. For, I know that this is what you're gonna ask for. It's already ready for you. You took off, okay? In the vehicle, when I'm telling you and I'm talking to you, you just take off. Yeah, go and stop this feeling. Man. Emotions make you do this kind of dumb shit. That's all I was asking you for. Where's your ID? I was gonna add you to the call. Have you moved? Have you have you moved? Be on your way, and that's it. Okay. But now you took off. Now you wanna pull, and I'm so tired of hearing this shit. And what you guys have got to understand, and what she should understand. Nobody gives a damn. Nobody give a fuck. She mentioned that I'm a black woman struggling. Nobody give a fuck. I'm being, I'm just telling you how this world works, how society works. Nobody really gives a fuck. Nobody gives a damn that you are a black woman and you struggling. Me being the man that I am, if I'm struggling, if I'm a black man struggling and I'm pulled over by the police, there's no need to mention that. Because why do I need to, no, nobody gives a fuck. And even if they did care, I'm still not gonna mention it. But see, what can you expect? I'm simply saying that to let you know it's pointless in saying that. And it seems a lot way more worse than you think, okay? Cause why would you take off? I'm talking to you, right? Am I, am I dressed as a civilian? Right? It's a police officer giving you a lawful command and you just take off. Okay. Please just leave me alone. Step I out of the vehicle. Anything. Come on. What did I do? You already know what you did. No, I All right? What you did was you made your circumstances more difficult. That's what you did. And you're so uninformed about law and just basic law that you don't even understand. You just created the circumstances for you to pretty much be arrested. Learn, folks. Stop spending your daily time looking at bullshit. Learn things. Mental equip yourself. Please explain to me. Step out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle. What is this happening right now? What are the charges right now? Like, get out of the vehicle, or we're going to take you out. Can you please, I'm willing to consent to that, but please explain to me why that's I'm being Step out. And another thing, of course, we can say, and you can talk about what the officer's doing, and you can talk about what they're not doing. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm simply talking about what we can do as a people when we're in situations as she is. I'm simply talking about the things that we can do to make our circumstances better if we're ever in a situation like hers. So I don't care about what the officer's doing. I'm not here to talk about that. I'm simply here to mention about how we can make our circumstances better for ourselves by better decision making. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. So come on down. Please let me go. Please get out. A lot of people, they just be upset that they're under arrest. They're upset that they've been pulled over. See, these people, I feel bad for them because they know so little, you know so little, and, and not just that, but you are a victim of your own ignorance, and you you don't realize this. What have I done? Talk about the race baby stuff, I'm not What going. have I done? Turn around. Uh -huh. What have uh -huh. I, oh, no, 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 wait, I'll turn, turn it off by myself. Turn around. You don't have to, hold on, I'll put yeah, it down, let me put it down. It's you clear she lives in that down. car. Are you kidding me? What have I done? Stop pulling away. Please tell me what I'm being paid for, You're this is not enough. For resisting? Yes. I said I was not going to or anything. Okay. 
when an officer tells you to do something, you do it. Stop. Leave, leave, leave the whole race crap alone. That's that's old. From the easiest target. Okay. So when an officer's talking to you, why would you drive away while he's speaking with you? I'm asking him, what have I done wrong? Why would you parts? drive away? Because I didn't do anything. Okay. And I still haven't done anything. You are not no one to determine that. I... It's pitiful. If an officer's speaking with you, you don't just drive away. See, this this is what I'm saying. I feel bad for her because it's clear that she's not a thinker. It's clear that she can't think ahead. You have to make decisions that will complement your circumstances, as she didn't. You know that you're homeless. You know that you live out of your car. You know that your car is the only thing that you have. You know that all of your belongings is within your vehicle. One with some degree of intelligence or sense would say, you know what, this is all I have. Let me not do anything that's gonna cause me to lose this. Let me not do anything that's going to put me in a worse position than I'm already in. Now she's about to be arrested. Now your car is about to be towed. Then you're gonna have to come up with money that you don't have to get the car out. No, 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 no. You want to play this game? We'll I'm play your game. Your game. In the car. Oh, Let's go. No, we could have done this the nice way. She's, but she wanted to, nope. she's an <laughs> ignorant man. I feel bad for her. Oh my God, this is not fair. Nope. I haven't even done anything. Victim of her own stupidity. You can say all you want, but well, they didn't have to arrest her. They didn't, maybe they didn't. But at the same time, it's not about that. It's about what can I do to make this bad situation not worse, but a little better? How can I make this smooth? How can I get up out of this bad situation? I'll tell you how. Intelligence, thinking ahead, learning things, being in control of how we feel being in control of our emotions, being a thinker. But see, you can't be any of these things if you were never taught how. You can't be any, you know, you can't be any of these things if you do not teach yourself how. So many people spend their time doing nothing. You can continue on with that. I'm gambling out here, nothing. I keep out here to work. And then on top of getting her car out, she gonna have to bond out of jail. Have a seat. Put your legs in the car. I wish I would be getting pulled over and arrested for some dumbass shit like this. I don't got time for this. I know how to deal with law enforcement. I've done it many times. In fact, I flip it back on them and take them to court and been successful every time. You're in trouble is that when an officer is speaking with you and, I, and he's asking you for identification, you didn't do anything. You have no right to just drive away because. See, I've dealt. With the job that I had and have and the jobs that I do, I pretty much have a similar position to these officers. And a lot of times these people, they so uninformed, they don't know anything. And then they end up in this trouble. They end up being restrained. They end up being arrested. And a lot of times I would have to sit with them and tell them, hey, listen, I would have to tell them in a matter of 15 to 20 seconds or 30 seconds, give them as much information as I can so that they can move forward and not do the same dumbass shit that got them in this trouble to begin with. I'm telling you, these people are victims of their own ignorance. You feel like you had, you didn't do anything wrong. I know okay? I then you know what? Maintain your innocence. You'll talk about your case in court. We have nothing this to talk about. Have a good night. And then you keep saying, this is not fair. Let me tell you something. I don't, there's no need to say that. Not a damn thing is fair. Don't expect for shit to be fair. In fact, me personally, I expect for things to be unfair. You gotta be equipped with this knowledge. You gotta be equipped with this wisdom. You gotta be equipped with this motherfucking game. And she, she, she's pitiful. She's pitiful. You have nothing better to do. Oh my God, it is so my car, my baby. Oh, 
see, <laughs> you know, I'm not even going to continue on too much longer with this video because I can say so much about it. You can tell a woman like this is unlearned. You got a ton of women out here who's just like that. They're just as ignorant. They're just as mindless. And they're a victim of their own foolishness. Listen, it's Hicks Uncensored. If you like the things that I show you, subscribe, because it's going to be a lot more.